This video is sponsored by EcoFlow, and at the end, I'm going to see just how much concrete you can mix off one full battery of their Delta Pro. Concrete is perhaps the most versatile building material. You can pour it into almost any form and 24 hours later it will be as solid as rock, which makes it really useful for a lot of projects. If you don't need much, you can just buy ready mix bags and add water. But if you need a bit more than that, you can either hire an expensive truck to mix and pump it for you, or do it yourself with one of these. I've probably done a few hundred mixes over the years and I think there's just two simple rules to mean literally anyone can make perfect concrete first time round. Use buckets to keep the ratios and order of mixing consistent and get the water in early. You'll need a wheelbarrow, at least two buckets but more is better, a shovel, ballast which is a mix of sharp sand and round stones, water, and of course cement, sometimes called dust. And often people call concrete cement, but really the cement is just the binder. First thing you wanna do is wet the mixer. The aim here is to get as much of the water you'll need in at the very beginning, to stop any cement dust sticking to the back of the mixer. If that happens, sometimes it'll just stay there and not get into the sand, meaning a weaker concrete. If you're doing four or five ballast to one cement, you'll need roughly half a bucket of water, but this will change depending on how wet the sand is. If it's really hot, you'll need more, but the key here is to get 75% of the water in at the very beginning. Next, fill up two buckets of ballast and whack them in the mixer. Now you've basically got very wet sand, which is perfect as you'll be adding the cement next, which will suck all of that up in seconds. Dump it in and get away from that dust as quick as possible because it's pretty toxic. And by adding the cement when there's lots of water, you'll avoid the risk of any sticking to the back and not getting into the sand. Once it started to combine, dribble some water onto the rim of the mixer to wash off the cement that will have stuck to it. Do the same for the bucket so you don't waste any of that goodness. After a minute or so, the cement should be fully mixed in, so add the remaining buckets of ballast and water, remembering to observe proper lifting procedures at all times. Don't stop your mixer like this, but do take a look at the back of it. If it's clean, you're good to go. The perfect mix will leave these creamy streaks on the back, like the legs you get on a glass of wine. A good test is whether it can hold some sort of shape on a trowel. But if there's anything stuck to the back, like this example, you probably didn't use enough water at the start, and now you're gonna have to work a bit harder to save it. Swell half a cup full of water in your bucket and launch it into the back of the mixer. You want to time it so that it hits that cement clump. It might seem trivial, but if you don't fix it, you'll leave cement behind when you tip out, meaning a weak mix and more cleaning. If the mix is now too wet, you'll see soupiness forming at the front rim. Just add a touch more dust and ballast in that case, wait for it to mix in and then repeat if necessary. Now get your wheelbarrow and make sure you wet it. Then slowly tip the mixer over. Too fast and you'll slam the concrete into the side and knock it over, so go slowly.
To clean the mixer, it's very simple. Throw some water in and then grab a shovel full of stones and throw them in too. If you've got any cement stuck anywhere, it will knock this off for you. The rest is pretty obvious. Get as much concrete off the tools as possible, otherwise you will regret it the next time you use them. And that's it, perfect concrete every time. Use buckets, get 75% of the water in the beginning and keep the back clean. Setting a post is a very common use of concrete for the average person and is as easy as pie. But in case you've never seen it before, this is how you do it. And you don't even need a mixer. Three is probably enough.
I think by now most of us have heard of EcoFlow. They're probably the leading manufacturer of portable power stations. But how useful are they on a building site? Well, when they sent me their Delta Pro with a 400 watt solar panel, I found out. After charging it to 100% from an AC outlet, we plugged in both mixers, filled them up with a full load of sand and began the clock. Then, after putting my GCSE maths to the test, I figured out that off one charge, you can mix 25 batches of concrete, which is the equivalent of a 4x5 meter, 100 millimeter concrete slab. And that happens to be roughly the size of one of these workshop bays, which trust me, is more than enough mixing for one day. But how long does it take to charge with solar in an off-grid situation? This is a 400 watt solar panel and in July sun, I managed to get up to 300 watt input, which isn't too bad. So it took about one and a half days to charge from zero to 100%, which coincidentally happens to be the amount of time you'll probably need to recover from a full day of mixing. You can of course add more solar panels to substantially increase that input and shorten the time. And remember that's free energy, minus the cost of purchase, obviously. Now I've shown you the fun stuff, here are the talking points. The Delta Pro capacity is 3600 watt hours. Their Xtreme technology makes it possible to recharge through AC outlets to get from 0 to 80% within 2 hours, the fastest on the market. The EcoFlow app shows real-time information on power usage and charging status. And finally, the battery management system protects the power station by monitoring voltage, current and temperature in real time and optimizing the operation of the whole system. So if you're interested in finding out more, head to my link in the description to visit EcoFlow's website. And if you use the code CarlRogers, you can get 5% off any order. Thanks for watching.